Hello everyone and welcome back to Hemeldown Model Railway. So in today's video I'd show you the extension to the new river scene, plus a little bit around the ballasting and the lead up to the engine shed area, and also some of the bridge section that will be linking the two sides of the layout together. So without further ado, let's crack on with the video. So this is the part where I've already done uh, the river base, and this is the bit now where I'm going to be doing um, a slight waterfall where this block of wood is and then it will drop down to a riverbed in here. I'm also going to put some uh, lining of some brick um, plastic card along here and then some uh, brick paper um, along this section here just to look like it's um, been held back. So this is the riverbed, uh, pretty much done. I've added in some uh, lichen stones, some uh, swamp reed, and uh, a few sort of uh, twigs and stuff like that as well. Um, and just coated a load of debris that will go down sort of the flow of the river. Um, and then we'll link up down here as well. Now when I do pour uh, the river from here, I'm expecting it to sort of go down uh, to this sort of level about here. I think it will sort of uh, run down and then I can kind of uh, just use some um, textured water uh, just to dab in a bit of a current. Uh, you can already see that there's sort of ripples and stuff that flow down through this way. So I'll just detail that up a little bit more. Um, I need this to be uh, slightly deeper um, than uh, this section. So I'm hoping that you know, it will cover up sort of some of these stones and stuff here as well, um, because it gets a little bit deeper uh, as you go down to this section. Um, and obviously, this was the end of the end of the bit where it kind of stopped with any resin uh, right down here, so it's quite flat here. So I'm hoping that it will sort of, uh, yeah, so sort of blend in down that way as well. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a, a few hours to sort of dry and uh, start making up some of these uh, retaining walls uh, to build up around this section just until uh, the base of this is dry because I won't be able to do the resin pour um, just yet. I've still got to create uh, the ledge for the waterfall and then I'll have a little flat piece off here where it'll be sort of like the top of the river so it'll be slightly higher and then it will flow down and then I'm going to make uh, some sort of stepping stones uh, that will go across uh, this little section here with a few sort of little water waterfall um, effects that will sort of go down into the river here and then flow down this way. Whilst um, all of this section will be starting to dry and stuff, uh, now all of the um, filler has dried on here. Um, I'm going to start to put um, another layer uh, just further down all bits where I've missed and then I can start detailing up uh, this embankment and hillside on this section and then equally start doing the same on this section here and uh, start blending in uh, some of the edging of this one uh, onto the new board section on here as well um, just to start to get all of the uh, the basic stuff in here ready and uh, start sort of painting up areas where I've put the new board in. So now what I've done is to seal the gaps uh, with this section here and that will be uh, sort of kind of painted in this sort of rock effect that I've done on this side. I've also done uh, the join uh, in between uh, this section here as well. And now what I'm doing is just using uh, some plastic card and just marking out where I will have uh, the wall on this section. Uh, because this will be raised up on here, I'm not going to need to put a full piece of uh, plastic card in there. So I'm just going to use a little off cut uh, just to kind of line up at the top on that section there. 
and then this will be sort of a flat base where the water will then flow down through that section there. So a little bit more time has passed. Uh, what I have done now is to fix in the retaining wall. I've plastered the gap all along the back here and then that will be painted brown. I've now, out of a little bit of uh, polystyrene, uh, created uh, what will be the start of the waterfall. Um, as you can see, there's some sort of large stones here, so there'll be uh, some water that will come from there and it will flow down uh, through these rocks. Uh, this will all be painted uh, grey um, stone colour and then using some um, green washes uh, to sort of look like a bit of moss and, and algae and stuff will create around sort of like the, ro the edge of the rocks there and stuff. So uh, I've just put another layer of PVA now just to seal where the edge of the uh, wall is and down to the riverbed so when the resin does go in there um, it's got a, a perfect seal and stuff and I've done the same sort of down the other side as well just to make sure that there's no gaps in between where the plaster is. So that's probably going to take a couple of days to dry because um, I've also got to paint that up so I'm hoping to do that uh, later on in this video. Um, but that's the, uh, the basics of the river now. So I just thought I'd show you kind of the river from uh, this angle here. Uh, so when you'll see trains coming out through what will be uh, a tunnel uh, just there, you'll see the flow of the river going at the background there. And then where those rocks are at the back, that's where you'll start to see the sort of waterfall and stuff. So I think that's gonna sort of set the scene off quite nicely. Um, it is nice now that this sort of scene kind of flows uh, a little bit more continuously rather than it just sort of cutting off at one point. And now what I'm working on is just weathering down um, a little bit of this uh, ballast here. Uh, linking up into this section and then I can get the uh, tunnel mouth put in place uh, where it needs to be and then start to get that painted up as well. Right, so let's crack on with uh, showing you some of the other little bits that I've got. So currently with this section here, what I'm doing is just building all of my retaining walls. Um, the shapes that I have there, I've made out of uh, plastic card. And what I'm gonna do is use some um, three mil card to back that and then put some uh, sort of capping stones and sort of thin strips of uh, brick down these pieces so that it just looks like it's, uh, you know, sort of so thick as it's going up there. And then what I'll do is then blend some more plaster up against the wall to look like that wall's kind of holding uh, that cliff face back. The wall at the top here, uh, where it joins there, uh, that'll be sort of pinched together. Uh, so that'll sort of just join as one continuous piece. And then I'm going to put um, a piece of iron girder just across this section here. So what I'm working on now is now to um, make all the brick paper go all the way through and then up to the other side to start creating that whole wall piece at the back there. Um, I've now um, cut a piece for this one and I've stuck all of the plastic card like I have on that side. So that'll be able to slot back in there once that's dry and uh, start bringing this scene all together. So something that I found that I'd brought uh, quite a while ago are these um, four foot post and wire fencing. And I thought that they'll be absolutely perfect to go along this edge here. So I'm gonna um, paint these up uh, with a little bit of sort of brown and uh, then really sort of poke the holes through with a little needle just to make sure that the wire will go through. And then I thought that these would be absolutely perfect um, to sort of place along the edge of uh, this section here uh, for the fence. Um, then what I can do on here is just put a little sort of dirt track path and then blend in some mud and uh, static grasses down on this embankment. So that will be quite nice just to have uh, those in on that section there. So I'm glad I kind of found that and I can add that as the next part of uh, doing this section here. 
So also, I was um, talking with Alan from uh, Buckland Junction, and for his website, he started making these uh, bridges, and um, I thought that they'll be great to add on to some of the uh, sections that I do have on these pieces. Um, so we had a call, um, kind of sort of told me the measurements that he's got, and uh, selected a few different designs uh, for the bridges. Now, these are a perfect scratch aid to be able to uh, add what you want to them, weather them up and stuff. Um, but I thought that they would look absolutely perfect um, situated sort of just in here. And then I can sort of rust those up similarly to what I've done on the other side. And then um, for this section here, if I just bring you over, um, there's a little bridge that sort of slants down at an angle on this side and uh, it will sort of come off level with uh, this one here and sort of sit on there as well. So it kind of matches up with some of the effects that I've done on uh, this bridge here. And uh, what I'll do in the description is add a link to his uh, site where in the future, I think he'll be uh, sort of selling these off. And uh, I'll also put a link at the, in the uh, description for his channel as well so um yeah if you're ever interested in some of these a uh, perfect sort of scratch aid um, then do check it out so i've added in the fence posts and i've put a layer of pva down on the uh, little pathway uh, just on this section here so i'm now just waiting for that to dry uh, then what i'll do is another layer of mud uh, down the bottom there and then i will static grass that and then I will place the um, wire through uh, once I've done all of the sort of path detailing first. So I've done the first piece of uh, ballasting down in this section now that I have all of the uh, track pinned in and um, what I've done here is to use an end scale ballast uh, dark grey and then I've used some uh, fine cinders uh, just to sort of highlight where there'll be uh, the dark patches of sort of oil and uh, any sort of soot and stuff like that as well so I'm hoping uh, that that dries off quite nicely. I've only done a small section just to kind of test uh, the mix of the two. So hopefully uh, in the next update I'll be able to show you what that looks like and then now that I've uh, pinned in all of this section I'll be able to get all of that done so that then I can uh, work on getting all of the bridge fixed in. So I just wanted to get all of the uh, track done first. So thanks for joining me on this update. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a small bit of the progress that's happening on the layout. Hopefully in the next video, I should be able to finish all of the ballasting and to start detailing up uh, the walkway embankment to the side of the tracks. And then what I'll be doing is constructing more of the bridge that you can see in front of you. So I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that subscri subscribed to me lately and those people that continue to support the channel and also to the people that follow me on Patreon. So take care everyone and I will speak to you all soon.
Bye for now.